Sewing your custom pillowcase is super simple. I'll walk you through how to do it in this quick video. Hi, I'm Angela Wolf. Wait until you see how easy making pillowcases can be. I've chosen cotton fabric for this pillowcase. Cotton is soft, durable, and breathable. Just be sure to wash and dry the fabric before you cut, as cotton has a tendency to shrink. Measure the pillow you're covering to create a pattern. My pillow is 20 inches by 30 inches. We need to add room for the seam allowance and the top finished edge. So I'm going to cut my fabric to 21 inches wide, leaving room for half inch seam allowances, and 41 inches long because I added 11 inches to the length to make the nice finished fold at the opening of the pillow. Cut two of these. To get started, I'm going to mark the fold area with Taylor's chalk. Mark one inch from the edge. And make one more marking six inches from the edge. Fold at the six inch mark toward the wrong side of the fabric and press. Then tuck under at the one inch mark and press again. Now follow those same steps for the second piece of fabric. Unfold your fabric and line up all the corners and pressing lines. With right sides facing each other, pin the pillowcase pieces together along these three unfinished edges. Now we're going to stitch around these three sides using a half inch seam allowance. I'm using contrasting thread so you can see the stitches better, but you would be using matching thread. Start by back stitching and stitch until you get to the first corner. Make sure the needle's all the way down, lift the presser foot and turn the fabric. Lower the presser foot and continue stitching around these two edges. Finish the seam allowances with a zigzag or overlock stitch. Turn the press folds towards the wrong side of the fabric, making sure to line up the side seams and pin. Stitch an eighth of an inch away from the folded edge. Turn the pillowcase to the right side. Give this crease one more pressing and turn back the fold toward the right side of the pillow at just about four inches and press. Now line up the side seams and tack, stitching back and forth along the seam line. This will keep the fold in place. Put your pillow inside and that's it. You have a custom pillowcase. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click the I in the top right corner to get the free pattern I've been using for this project or to learn more sewing techniques from the world's best instructors.